everyone through here welcome to today's presentation so in today's presentation we are going to see how to share a database connection between a job and a joblet in talent so if you have a job and you have a joblet that is being used within that job we have a connection at the job level how can we dynamically pass that connection so it can be available and used within a joblet in studio that said we're going to dive right into the studio environment to lay uh, the stage for this. So uh, in the studio environment, I do have a very simple job, uh, which uh, is here on my screen. And so far, everything is, uh, is very, uh, very simple. So this job is meant to be my main job. And within this main job, I'm establishing a, a connection to my uh, database. So this is a tutorial database we've been using uh, uh, within these videos. So this is a connection to my database. I might be doing some processing below. And at some point uh, within this uh, within this job, I want to invoke a joblet. I want to invoke a joblet. And now, and I'm assuming that all of us know what a joblet is. If not, check around on my uh, video playlist. There probably would be some videos around uh, joblets depending on when we're watching this. So Assuming that I have a joblet and this joblet is reading from a database and it's a very simple joblet. It's just going to my statistics database in my AMC and it's pulling that information and returning the results from that stats uh, database. So whatever we have in there, we return it uh, that result. But if you notice this uh, connection, this database uh, does need a connection. All right. I don't want to physically define that connection within my joblet. I want that connection to be passed down to this joblet by the main job that's invoking this particular joblet. So we want that to be dynamic. All right. So how do we go ahead and do that? So if we see what this AMC, uh, if you see what this uh, joblet is, the way we're going to do that is we, uh, instead of having the joblet just use its normal connection the way we're doing here, I'm going to come into that component depending on what database you're working with here, right? In this case, it's MySQL. You could be using Oracle or some other database still all should be uh, the same. All right. So what we want to do is we want to select use an existing connection, right? Because of course, in this case, we don't want to use the current connection. We want to use an existing uh, connection. Now, if I check here, there is no component list connection for, for me to see, all right, because we haven't created one. So what we need to tell it is we're going to give the connection name that's coming from our main job. So the joblet, because this is where we are in the joblet, can use the main connection coming from above. So to do that, we go to dynamic settings. And this is where we're going to pass in that information of the, of the uh, connection coming from the main job. In that case, we're going to go ahead, click add. All right, so we're going to add a new component list. And here we give the name of the parent connection that we want. All right, so I'm going to go back into my parent job. I know there is a connection in here, and this is the connection we want to pass. All right, so we want to pass the TDB connection underscore one. We want that connection to be sent down into my joblet. So we're going to go back in here. You can just go ahead and type it TDB uh, connection underscore one. All right. And you can also make this into a, a context variable and make it more dynamic. But in this case, I'm typing it as such. And we want to type it without quotes, right? We're not really putting any quotes in there. All right. So now you can see here that my component list is now looking for a connection called T, uh, TDB connection underscore one. Even though it doesn't exist within my joblet at runtime, because if you think about it, the joblet gets instantiated at runtime and then becomes part of that job. So if we had created a connection during that job as called TB, uh, TDB connection underscore one, that connection now gets passed dynamically into my joblet. And so this is what we're doing here. All right. So let's go ahead, save this. All right. So now that is saved, if we go back into the main job, all right, where we have this connection, this is where we want to invoke that joblet. Right now, I don't have the joblet invoked. So let's go back to our joblets and find that joblet so we can actually uh, we can actually uh, invoke that. So joblet, so this is a joblet that I need. All right, so I'm simply bringing that to the screen. And because that joblet is going, is reading the database and it's just returning the result. So let's take that result and log it to the screen. So T uh, log row, all right, if I take that, I connect the output. All right, so now I have this uh, uh, joblet in here that is going to go into a database It's going to read all my statistics. And this is my AMC database to be specific. 
it's going to read all my statistics and it should write it on the screen. But this, this joblet needs to know what that database is and it's going to use this connection that I'm providing and I'm passing that connection down into, into this uh, AMC database. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and run this job. All right, so there you have it. Okay, so it's uh, uh, gone into my AMC database. It's you know pulled out the records that are available uh, within this. We've been using this database as an example, so it's pulled out the record and it's written those records uh, to the screen. But no connection was defined within my joblet. There was no connection defined within my joblet. What we've seen here is how we've been able to uh, how how we've been able to uh, pass that connection dynamically by simply specifying the name uh, down into this joblet. All right. I hope this was helpful. One thing to note, uh, as I called it out, is we're not passing tutorials uh, DB. That's not the connection name. All right. The connection name is not what we have on the screen. This is just a display name to make it very easy to read. So the name that we need is we want to select the component itself. Right. Make sure that component is selected. Go to components tab. We want to pull out the specific unique name for it. If I was to add another connection to TDB, TDB, let's say we had another connection here, it would be TDB SP1 as such. All right, that's what we need as the name, not, not the display name. You can always change the display name, right? Say IBM. Customers as an, ex as an example. You can always change that display name. All right, and that's the display name. That's not what we need. We always want to go into that TDB. Uh, SP underscore whatever it is that we need. So that's the name that we, we, we use. And then the second piece to note was when we uh, did that in here, it wasn't in quotes. Usually once we put in ver variables in, in Talent, we're putting them in quotes, right? Because it's looking at, at it as Java strings. In this case, we're not doing that. We're just simply typing the name as it is. All right, guys. And then that connection can be passed down. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, so today, uh, to recap, we looked at how to share a database connection between a job and a joblet within Talent. And this is uh, the Talent Enterprise. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the comment section below and to share that. I'll be more than happy to respond. Through here, I will see you in the next video.